You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Balls. Welcome everybody to the INRA GoJD.com Cup Series live here at Talladega at Super Speedway for the wonderful Snickers Bites 4.99 here. And here today I'm here with good old Mr. Noonday, Robbie Noonan. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? We're here at Talladega. This should be a fantastic race to watch. And back on the booth with us, Mr. Brody Banta. Howdy how. And also back with us, uh, since Bristol, we saw him last time, Mr. Joe Donahue, everybody. What is up, you jive turkeys? I can't see the screen. Oh, you can't see <laughs> shit? Oh, damn it. Oh, well, I'll just go off of what you guys say. Well, guys, we're here at the second stop of the Super Speedways. And, and yeah. Well, we're at the second stop of the Speedway, guys, but... There's two totally distinct different things compared to Daytona and Talladega. First of all, there's a lot of character involved in Daytona. You really handling is key at Daytona. You really gotta make sure your car's handling great, your car's bouncing well through the corners, make sure the shocks are not too bumpy as the corners they do bottom out, they go dips and bumps and stuff. Here at Talladega, it's all about the draft. You got yourself four wide racing throughout this entire speedway. There's no there's room for error here, but trust me. With 43 cars packed up together, there's almost no room for it. Oh, and by the way, the start-finish line is down by turn one. That should make more interesting. Yeah, absolutely, indeed. Alrighty, so we're going to head down trackside for the opening command for today's race, presented by Coles. Shh, clothing. Drivers, start your engines. I'm hoping the drivers could have heard that, but yep, they did, so. <laughs> Coles, the only place where you can drop a freaking pin in the store and you, the whole place will go into shock. Yep, and and actually, let me go ahead and say, uh, Talladega is an absolute blast to race, but it can get a bit scary, like you said, with the four-wide racing, and uh, it's going to be great with the front straightaway, or the finish line being where it is. Brody, I think the key factor in this race is going to be the draft here. You got to find yourself the perfect drafting partner. It's really a hundred mile an hour game of chess. You really got to figure out who is your best friend here. I think the best decision made is the one that's made on the last lap on the back straightaway. And the beautiful thing about this track, though, you can make a pass in the trial one and make it. That's where you're going to have to make your pass if you even attempt one coming to the line. Brody, I think it's going to be made in turn three. That's where I think the pass is going to be made. Well, you got to plan in turn three. <laughs> it's got to be planned out in turn three, but you got to make it down coming to front straightaway on coming home. I disagree with him. I think it's going to be made coming out of turn four. That's where it seems to be um, most commonly um, occurring. And, yeah. Like I said, you put you plan that thing coming into three. As soon as you get off of four, you got to get yourself going. Exactly. Yep. Anyways. Well, whatever happens here, I mean, we're going to see some great pack racing here at Talladega. Definitely probably some more exciting racing since uh, the finish, start finish line is uh, way more um, at the far end. So it should be really interesting. Big Bill designed design this place to be built at down, the front, down the turn one so more seats can be sold there. But let me tell you, I cannot tell you how many times people have been screwed over and how many times people have made their moves on that trial bowl. Like Brody said, the plan's going to be made in turn three, but you got to make it come into the front straight away. Yep, as we're about to uh, go to green flag here, points leader Jordan Hamill's going to lead them off to the green flag here for the Snickers Bites 499, and we are now finally green flag. It's going to take about a, a full lap for these restricted engines to get up to speed. But once they do, guys, 190 miles an hour, flying out all the way around the circuit. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you know, 
I just this is precision driving. One mistake can cost twenty cars their race. Brody, this kind of reminds this kind of reminds me of the IndyCar races at Chicago Lane. I mean, you really it's really a game of chess here. You can't bump draft with these cars. You really got to be precise of what you pick because one long move is going to cost you all the way to back. Oh yeah, and that, of course we don't want that. We want to see uh, them on a pack because that's what it's supposed to be. You know. Yeah, we're already seeing uh, um, the pack already come into play. Look at this, almost four wide coming off to the stretch right here. It is just gorgeous pack racing at its finest here. I mean, I believe that's row racing car leading right now. Yep, the good so for the last racing. lap at Talladega to the first lap here, a front row car leads. How about that? Surprise there. What? Okay. It looks like some leaders in the back are already starting to fall. Um, uh, uh, some leaders to the front, sorry about that fuck up, are starting to go to the back. <laughs> that could be a strategy move to play in the back, you know. With big wrecks like these, you got three what, by three by three racing, you know. Sometimes might not be played safe to go in the back. But in my opinion, the sponsors pay you to get up front. I would want my car on TV up front. And you're going to want to be in the front just in case the big one happens. Yep, um... You never know when the big one's going to happen. It'll just be so unpredictable here at these tracks. And I believe you have four wide and a tri -oval. I mean, the tri -oval is larger compared to Daytona, but still, it just funnels out when you go over there. The draft is going to overcome you. I'm surprised one car has not spun out yet with that draft. Yeah, we'll just have to see right here, man. I mean, already the draft is uh, starting to get pretty intense. That 55 car is starting to pull away from this group, but uh, his lead might not uh, extend as much because... Uh, Guy kind of be in this pack right here. It kind of froze it for a little bit on mine, but I see four by four wide. This is absolutely insane racing. And I'm surprised they're able to keep it clean. Oh with my this god, kind of we draft. already got some trouble. The 10 West of Miller. Oh, even the good old Snickers car. Oh, the big one is here. And Woo! right after I said there, I'm surprised they're not wrecking. They wreck. How perfect timing. That is Emmy Award winning coverage right there again. Oh, point. Oh, You're our full sitter is amazing. involved. How about You're freaking that? amazing, oh, Robbie. That's going to be a huge hit in the points. Oh, my God. Michael Swiney, he's upside down. What a surprise. Oh, he's even upside down even more. Hard. And the, pole, and the outside pole sitter has been taking a tumble. Holy crap. And look at that. The Where's the famous car, line? The sponsor of this race. Oh, my God. That car's not looking good. I think I just, I, just, I just have one thing to say as we see our pole sitter have trouble, too. Why the hell did I open my mouth? <laughs> Whoops. That is a mistake from Mr. Noonan. Look at this. Just <laughs> many, many guys out. You got Sky Comments. Oh, my God. There's a lot of guys who have not really had a great season so far. Kyle Fan. This could be, this this be a lot of guys in my, in my emails tomorrow complaining about all this. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Steven Kimball, he got hit pretty hard. That is just unbelievable. Points leaders involved, so that's going to shake up the points a little bit. Well, I guess it looks like we'll take our first commercial break and see what the flying fuck happened. Uh, hopefully, Noonan can keep his mouth shut. <laughs> 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 As you guys are watching the IRA Go Day Cup Series live here for the Snickers Bites 499. That fucking thing broke and exploded all over my fucking shoes. That fucking gallon of milk came out like a fucking geyser. I stared at that fucking thing. I was like a Niagara Falls in fucking amazement. <laughs> you know, Mr. Noonan, you're not feeling like yourself today. Here, have a fucking Snickers. Now, is that better, big boy? Better. Welcome back, everybody, and we are showing you the replay right here, and it looks like Weston Miller just uh, didn't have enough room and just causes a big pile up. I mean... See a lot of familiar faces in this wreck. Uh, my Whoa. God. Good God, that's a big crash, isn't it? Thank you, Captain Obvious. Shut up, I'm well, coming to you. Well, the laws of physics say, you know, whoever comes down must come up, and apparently Weston just... Um, uh, just to correct you, it is whatever goes up must come down. <laughs> but we call it a flat track like this. What's going to come down? What is it, going to come back up? And, and Weston Miller definitely flat. What the so, heck are you talking about? Flat. He, he, uh, we know what he means. 
Alrighty. No. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, let's see, let's see what happened right here. Because this was a crazy flipping big one. Oh, we got to mention, um, Seth just joined us, um, so hello. Hello. So let's take a look. It looks like they just um, didn't have enough room, and just look at that. Apparently, they just went, must have went far wide, and like and then I this. said, that, and then Seth, Seth just had, I mean, uh, I was just Seth Weston had nowhere to go, and he just went flying across the racetrack. Holy crap, that is just uh I know, and then he went back up to the to racetrack go. and just got collided with everybody. Look at this. And yes, Joe, you are involved in this, sadly to say. That number one basket Robin's car definitely looks pretty melted. Oh. And I have to say, that 10 car really had a monster of a hit there. I mean, we're glad. Oh, you went gagging with that monster thing? <laughs> Hey, right. Look at this I had a crazy flip by Connor Germain, the 77 car. Oh shit, tits. <laughs> yes, look at this. LOL. Let's get on board with Connor Germain. Let's look at this. This is one hell of a car. Love needs to find oh. oh my god, look at this. What? Like what even worse, saying? Seth is singing. Baby, please don't go. Oh, all of a sudden, I started singing Journey. I don't know why. Don't Absolutely. stop believing. And, do, do, do. Oh, yep. to that and that was your musical life. attainment by Mr. Joe. And Seth. Don't leave out Seth. Seth. Got yeah, I mean, I'm getting stiffed here, man. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll be back um, for the green flag coverage here as you guys are watching the Snickers Bites 4.99. Bad time, baby. Can't touch this. My, 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 my music hits me so hard. You can say, oh my lord, thank you for blessing me with a mind too high and too happy. Feel so good when you're down. I'm too far home, but won't down. It's big bad time, baby. Just tell them it's big bad time. I am an ice cream cone. Oh. Welcome back, everybody, here as we're about to go back to Green Flag Racing. Pit stops have been made, so the 55 car is your race leader in that Roll Tide Toyota Camry. For the awesome. lols. That's pretty and cool. Of, and of course, you know, Alabama National Champions of last year. This is a great tribute to them. They're horrible. <laughs> Roll Tide. I'm kidding. I don't. I don't follow college football at all. There's a green flag <laughs> back out here, and what a good restart for that 55 Toyota. Hopefully, these guys keep it calm. You know, cool their jets and just kind of ride along until the end. Was that a pun? No. Nope. Okay. No pun intended. Just making sure. Aha. Uh -huh. That's hard to believe. Yeah, I know, right? Coming out of Brody. <laughs> I've already made a pun today. Yeah, but you usually go for like four or five. And no, that's like usually Brian. The, um, GoPro Zest car. He's trying to look at the inside, but it looks like the 55's got a block. No surprise. And how about Mr. Oops. Noonan driving the Sport Clips car? Definitely, that's uh, wonderful. Who put GoPro on the Zest car? Because I want to kiss them on the cheek, man. GoPro. For the win. Way to be a ball sack. And JT Teal's now got. Oh, I'm the ball sack. And a great run by those guys. We got three wide behind them. I mean, that's pretty much what the 17's best friend is right now. They're gonna, he's gonna want to see them run three wide, three wide, all that stuff. But the guy behind them, they're just gonna pull away right now, hopefully. But if they don't switch lanes like they are right now. Well, honestly, it, it doesn't really matter now because, like, you know, with like how much things can still get shook up, you know, it's just so much is gonna happen now between now and the finish. It, it, I don't even, I'm not even worried about. Who's leading now, honestly, if that makes sense. If I was right now, Seth, I would love to be sitting around mid-pack right now, maybe like third, fourth, or fifth, just to sit around and wait, not get too much into danger, but at the same time, you want to plan out what you want to have for the end of the race. Very, very yeah, true. Absolutely. Yeah. The 17 is still leading here, and now... 
It's easy to fool people at this track, apparently. <laughs> what was that? What the... <laughs> uh, someone's mom thing? called. It, it sounded like, sound like a cat was having a fucking hairball or something. Yeah, it sounds like a bird is, like, throwing up. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. anyway. All right. Anyways, we are still rolling here. Jordan Spencer is uh, ah, fuck rain Uh, Jordan Spencer's the leader here. Uh, I mean, he's having a trickery with words. A trickery ah. with words. Oh my god. Ryan's having brain farts nonstop. <laughs> I haven't seen three you do one logical thing this whole race. <laughs> and now we're going three wide for the lead. I said that. And the twenty car just made it. Of course, apparently, uh, what kind of TV coverage is this? We're missing it. <laughs> Hey, the 20 car has had a really good race in general today. There you go. Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, uh, God. And the STP we car is... Oh, my God. He's running up close to the front. Who's driving the STP car? Anyway? Uh, Michael Franigal. He's had uh, a pretty tough season, so it's good to see um, that's some a of the cool guys car. who are uh, not running good this season. Someone, Someone's calling you. It's a good thing this isn't my series. I wouldn't be able to pronounce half of these names. Oh, and we got trouble. Oh, Someone just took out the sports clips car, Robbie Unit. Oh, 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 was it the 22 what a car? Boss, it yes, was the 22, 22 car. The 22 wow. just took out the 11. How ironic. It was. Wow, that's... How about the irony? I mean, I was taken out by the 22. Oh, my goodness. Wait, why is There's the 9 car driving a pink do? Ford car? Because it's a freaking... Yeah. Don't know what I thought that was a 17 the whole time. Whoops. Nice. <laughs> Well, the Hamlin versus Logano thing spills over into freaking everything. Yeah, we got Hey, look, Darian versus Noonan. The two ends. <laughs> the oh, there's a fight on Pit Road. He's no. had a very clean race today. Nice one, Seth. And looks like there's no damage on the 11 car, so it looks like he should be good. But, God, that's got to be tough for Mr. Noonan. He didn't hit the wall. He didn't actually Man. hit the wall. I was going to say, the only, the only damage you might have is the damage on the split. Or maybe some parts of the suspension, but other than that, it should be fine and good to go. Yeah, if he yeah. has no damage or anything, you can go from last to first in basically one lap. I'm not worried about oh, him being okay. able to get up there. All right, we're not going to oh, take a commercial enough. since this is a, not so much of a um, scary caution, so we're going to take a look at what happened right here. <laughs> we're going to take a commercial now. We're going to see what happened. So it looks what like uh, the... <laughs> Looks like the car above Robbie got um, forced him down into the 22. So I don't know if you can blame the 22 for that one. That was Whoever, just a 55. I, I believe it's just the overall miscommunication of the spotters. I mean, you got four wide and there's, no, there's little no room for error. And probably just one wrong move by the 55 or the 11 just really cost him that yeah. shot he had to win in the race. I mean, God, we only have like six to go or something. Man, I, he's fine. He can still win sure. this race. Anyone with that time lead lap can still win this race. But, you know, it's just a racing incident. Someone needs to learn that, um, Elias Sadler. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's man, racing incidents man, happen. I, man, do I wish he was driving a CBS car this weekend? Well, we'll probably. CBS <laughs> car. Boy, that would be just wonderful. I wouldn't mind seeing that CBS car being torn up. Yep. Yeah, it's got to be tough for Robbie Noonan. CBS, uh, now except... Nah. On the life insurance policy accept, with that. Isn't K-State Diecast now accepting... Um, uh, what's it called? CBS cards with every purchase? If they do, I would stop buying from there. But let's take a look <laughs> on board anyway. Like I see, like see, guys, four wide just doesn't work here. Yeah, and it looks like, I guess that's a 16 car, I think. He just kind of, they just didn't have any room. It just ran out of room. That that happens sometimes. No, wait, no, no 16. Um, 43, is it? or The 55 seemed like he was giving um, Noonan a little bit of something from behind. I, I was thinking that car right in front of him. Whatever, what, what car is that right in front of him? Oh, we need to go find the hat. Let's go figure it out. It looks like the 15 or the 55. Well, this yeah, is the 81, like... now that's the 22. I thought, I mean, the one in front of him, uh, I think it was that Roll Tide car. Oh, yeah, John McNamara. Oh. Of, of course, the football car takes me out. <laughs> told you. I told you it was the 55. <laughs> it's not the 55. It's, Boy, I the think it's an 83 car. Is that crazy that's 55, here. Seth. 
Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like a 55. 55 is red. And that well, one's you're like outnumbered. A, so red and green. No, no just go back again. Red. I want to see it. Well, we'll okay, get let's more go on commercial this controversy. And then, then we'll, see. Uh, we'll get more on this controversy after a short commercial break. Uh, feel sorry for Mr. Noonan. We'll get more info about this shit. But you guys are watching the Snickers Bites 499 here at Talent. NASCAR Pop. Stop what you're doing and browse the IRA website, or you'll wind up like this fuck. Alright guys, so we got some, um, from look at the replays real closely, it looked like, uh, Ross Nogo might have, uh, kind of caused this incident with the help of the 22, so. Some crazy shit right there. It's all your fault, Austin. <laughs> Lol. JK, JK. No need a name. TTYL. <laughs> But uh, we're TTYL. running down here. We're going to be going down to lap okay. 17 out of 19 when these guys go back to green. So not many laps to go. Three to go. And uh, not many guys left here. It's going to be a crazy finish. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping we get it's a gonna, better it's finish. Gonna be, like, it's going to be just, a crazy finish. So just grab a Snickers and you'll just be able to set to go. But, guys, we we're talking about, let's say, three laps to go here. As soon as the green flag waves. If you got one of the guys in the front, would you be worried about the guys in the back? And let's oh, yeah. just hope we stay green because we don't want it to happen like what happened at Daytona and during under yellow because no one likes that shit. Why do I, I want to make race car sounds now? If I was one of those guys up in the front, I'd be dead worried about what's going on in the back yeah. there. You got to hug Horner, and protect. Alex Horner, who's uh, Homer, who's driving the 32 Kyle Larson car. Oh, shit. He is leading here. Honestly, if I was at the front, I'd be worried about what's going on in the back because I'm I'm sure I'm gonna be there in a few laps. Absolutely, as, as I see the the 29 going on the outside, but he's got no help, man. So I don't think he's gonna go anywhere. But you're, you're absolutely right, Seth. I mean, I, if I was the guy in front, I'd be worried about that jet behind me. How many laps to go, be left? Uh, we're on lap 17 and 19, so almost about three laps to go. Probably two and a half. Three now. and a quarter. I think that'd be like three and a quarter, wouldn't it? Yep, and we got the Richard Petty cars, the Mark or Edwards two and, a and Michael Franigello. I, I just know. saw them working together, and now I guess they lost the draft. And now Mark Edwards just absolutely gets shut out of the way, and that is like a suck all. He will not come back anytime soon. And now the STP car is going to lead with some help from Alex Jones and the rest of the gang. And now he breaks down to the draft as he's now taking the inside at the outside lane. Oh, I believe that was a mistake on the outside. You do not want to be out there. Every time it seems like outside lane, they get shuffled back. Well, it seems like any lane you go in without help, and it seems like the only lane the 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 lead guys want to ever get in is the inside. So most now, more people want to get in the inside. So I mean, that's always going to be the dominant like the, lane. The physics of this track, it seems like the bottom line is the way everybody goes. You want to stick to that yellow line and protect. I don't think there's going to be any reason why you should move up. Well, unless if it's two to go or something. I mean, this is well, it's two to go right now. So yeah, they yeah, apparently. Exactly. Quarter Corner of my statement to have an excuse, so go ahead, gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. When these guys go into the uh, go up into the straightaway and then go into the, the top lane, I'm like, I always yell at them. I'm thinking, they're crazy. I don't know we're why they always do the, it. Uh, white flag in the air now, as it looks like we're going three wide for the finish. With the white flag in the Wait, air, the as finish? Cole Frolic has the lead. The I, got, I got a feeling somebody, like the second or third car in that bottom lane is going to be the winner of this race. Yeah, either 55 right or, the, or the one behind him. I'm looking at the, the double mint car, honestly. That's or the either the, like, or the Dollar General guy. car. Mm. I'll keep my eye on the Dollar General, guys. Mm. I mean, that car is just coming in a hurry. I believe the 55 has moved up the race track. As long as 20 stays on the bottom, he'll be able there to hug and protect. So, like I've been saying, the 20 car. Um, so. 17. So I feel like he's got great, the racing racing parking. Parking. Wait, where's the 17 car? And, it's and, wants, and he wants to block him. Win a block out. Oh, but now he shifts to the side. Here comes the 20 of Jordan Spencer, and here comes the 83. Yeah. Oh, look, three wide. It's crazy. Coming down to three the wide, three wide, guys. Gonna it's going to be the 83 or 17. Woo! And the winner, oh, it's a photo finish. The winner 83. is the 80. 83. Yeah. Dang, man. Look, look, look how close that is. Yeah, the 20 would just stay on the yellow line. He had a shot, but apparently he must have thought otherwise. But the 83 of... Who's driving that car? Luke Fleming, the second win for BK Racing. Well, Mr. Look Fleming has that. just won the tal that Snickers Bites 400. So, congratulations, you win a free Snickers. Look how and close that 81 car got to the lead, I mean, though. Just, just 
Mark, I told you it was close. And you were right, Seth. And Seth, you were was, you were you were right. You, it you was know. one of those people on the bottom line. It was it, either. It, it was going to be the one of those. You picked the eighty-one. It happened to be second place, so yeah. did a better job than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, ended up fourth, but he was close. He was enough. He was close enough that if the race would have been another two hundred yards, he would have won that. So, Just look how close this was. Look at this. Absolute insanity. Look those guys. That, uh, that was one hell of a pass for the eighty-three. Kind of reminds you of uh, 2011, uh, Aaron's 499. It absolutely does, and I don't think the 83 went below the yellow line, so congratulations. It kind of looks like the finish of the nationwide race earlier in the year. Yep. I have to agree with that one, Mr. Donahue. That was one mm -hmm. fantastic finish. Actually, I'm thinking of, of the finish. 07, Aaron's 312. Remember that one? I, I mean, that one was four wide, I think, but uh, or maybe five wide even, but uh, still kind of reminds me of that I one. It was only two cars, but that nevertheless, this was just a one fantastic. Fantastic finish. I don't remember, yeah, but and, uh, <laughs> still look it up. This is definitely way better than the Daytona race. I mean, uh, probably seeing a lot of more great racing here at Talladega with this uh, Gen 6 package. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's more good racing and less wrecks. That's always yeah, a plus. Yeah, we only had two cautions. I mean, we had that big one that mostly took out the whole fucking field. So, uh, and that, the 17 decides he won the race. Yeah. <laughs> The second win for BK team, and then you know what? That's going to put him in the points lead. How about that? So he's going to be in the all-star, Luke Fleming. How about that? Woo. Woo. And so uh, we're going to take a break. off the all-star ballot. Yep, and uh, this race is over, so race 10. So uh, if you guys look at the point standings, uh, the top 12 um, for the championship rounds are locked in for the all-star. So the remaining 30 guys, you could go and... They will be in the show now, which will be a 17-lap caution-free race. It is going to get nuts at <coughs> Charlotte. Should be. Yeah. I mean, free 21 points in the All-Star. It's going to be crazy. Wait a minute. I'm starting points. to think Brian has. I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think Brian has an obsession with that Dodge Charger pace car because he always seems to go over there and look at it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll just look at the Zed yeah. car, right? Well, let's take a look at uh, your um, weekly schedules. We got the Indy 500 coming up for the champion for the PBG Championship Series, so that's going to be uploaded really soon. That is going to be a uh, one hell of a event to look forward to. And of course, we have this commercial showcase. So if you want to take a look at all the commercials, you can take a vote on the IRA website and vote which one was your favorite. So that's a commercial showcase we're going to have there. And don't forget, Jim Neighbors and a new starting grid type of lineup. So we're going to have a great pleasure doing that one. And all other races, and I'm in it. That's always a plus. Yeah. Yes. You are dead. <laughs> you, you're I'm in it too. I'm in it too. All right. Yeah, not as yeah. much as I am, though. Yeah, Seth was called in a last minute decision, so he, and I hope he and he, hope he did a pretty good job, man. You did a good job commentating <laughs> with us, and let's hope we get that video up this weekend. Yep, all you guys I'm did kidding. a great job. That full of and uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, head on over to the GoDay site uh, for the fan votes. I mean, uh, we're already getting, uh, we already have 24 votes in. It's uh, getting pretty crazy. So, um, yeah, so guys, any, any last words here at Talladega? This is another great race and another great facility. This place has always brought some of the best racing of restricted plates and stock cars. This did not disappoint, obviously. You know, Talladega, a lot wider than Daytona, less wrecks, more action. This was just downright great racing. I don't know about you guys, but that was a thriller to watch. Yeah, honestly, the uh, the this is one of the first times I've seen NR two thousand three more accurately uh, uh, show you what what goes on in real life too, because Daytona was not as good as uh, Talladega, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's decently accurate representation of real life, and hopefully that Zest car will go into the pits this time. Yeah, but, uh, he is like out of gas, so he's just kind of doing like a little cruise ride. So uh, way to go, <laughs> Mister Teal. <laughs> Woo. Talladega. <laughs> Talladega is always better. Always better than Daytona. Yep, always. Um, we only got uh, one more Super Speedway, and that'll be the season finale. So that, that's going to be wonderful. So, uh, yay. This is a great race. Congrats to Luke Fleming for the BK Racing Team. They've had a strong season for both cars. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for the Showdown event, which will hopefully be by Friday, and then followed by the live stream event. 
hopefully on Saturday for the All Star events. And yes, there will be a shitload of fucking commercials that you're gonna do it all out. Yeah. Do they even serve Dr. Pepper at Burger King? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh. That'd be okay. ironic. Yes, I said do. Yeah. Just didn't know. Coke and products and Dr. It. Pepper. Yep. So uh, we'll see you guys at the All Star here for the GoDaddy.com Cup Series. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust. I'm breathing in the chemicals.